So greetings from Pennsylvania once again. I just got done filming my video on Route 645, my Exploring Pennsylvania's Highways series. With all the beautiful color today. Like I said, it's a bit, bit of a gloomy day with the clouds and slight drizzle, but sometimes it just makes those colors pop. There's some back behind us here. I'll show you in a moment here. Let's spin you around a little bit. Yeah, I got some colors right there by Naomi. Yeah, in that video, I drove by the road, my home road, the road that I grew up on where my farm was located, where I lived for you know, quite a few years, most of my, well, all my childhood mostly and well into my adulthood too. So I got the idea, why not just make a video just driving along that road? I don't think I, I don't think I've done that before. I know I've taken you on that road before, but I don't know if I ever made a video just on that road. It's called Swope Road. Um, it'll be like going down memory lane. I'll probably tell you some stories or talk about things. Who knows? Well, that's just a, it's a beautiful, it's a scenic drive in and of itself going through the countryside and some forest, so why not on the way home make a video of that too. So anyway, let's hop in Naomi and let's, let's get going. Go down memory lane. All right, so this is currently Route 645, but just up ahead we're gonna turn left on the Swope Road. Once again, this is the road I grew up on. Don't know off how, offhand how many miles long it is, but here we go. So I got happy memories. But it's kind of sad too coming down this road. Who knows how many times I rode my bike on this road growing up. Mostly with friends. So I think I'll just keep the camera running the whole time. Because we travel the whole length of this. Yeah, this farm just up ahead was used to be owned by Zellers too, so my ancestors. There used to be an old spring house. It's all collapsed now. It's called the Lion's Den. I'm not sure why they called it that, but... And up ahead, just over the treetops, you can see my mountain poking up to the top. I always called it my mountain. Locally, it's called Round Top. Showing up on camera there off to your left. Might get a view of it right here as you poke through. Yeah, just off to your left there. That's Round Top. And you know, up this way is where my one friend lived off up to the right here. Probably wasn't the best influence on my life growing up, but he was my friend. His name was Michael. They just called him Mike. Yeah, but this section of the road right here, I rode all the time in between his house and my house. And then we'll take a left up here. Going straight is Bennett Street. And yeah, this is the main drag. Yeah, this brings back lots of memories. The corn is still up. But just off to our right, across that cornfield, oh, you can't really see it. There's some pine trees way over there where the telephone poles are going. That's where I grew up. With the corn up, you can't really see it. Yeah, it's still still shrouded by the corn. Otherwise, I was thinking about pulling over. But yeah. And just here off to the right was a driveway that went back to my place there. And down here's the woods. Right down here's my creek too. I used to always stop here. Grew up playing in the creek. Who knows how many walks I took through this woods here either. So many. Even as an adult I was just looking to clear my head and I'd go for a walk down through here. I think you can see why. Yeah just up ahead there's my mountain again. Up above that field there. There's some guy up here blowing leaves off the road. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there's a house off to the right there. Actually, uh, someone died in that house, I think, growing up. And they didn't know about it until some vultures like started landing on top of the house and just hanging out there, and they realized that they were smelling the corpse on the inside. Anyway, it's a horrible story, but hey, there, there's a view of my mountain there. That's a beautiful shot there. If I just pull over a little bit, get a head-on shot of it. That's my mountain up ahead there. It's round top. Beautiful shot of it up there. Growing up, I always dreamed of you know, climbing that. I've taken you up there a couple times, I think. All right, but up ahead here is the end. Up here is Fort Henry Road. If you hook a left, it takes you to the monument or the marker for Fort Henry. We filmed that in our French and Indian War series, but this is the end of Swope Road right here, folks. The memories continue, but that's the end for Swope Road. So that'll be it for Memory Lane. As always, folks, things to come along, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.